Hello there, uh, it's Clive Lambert here from Futures Techs. Um, I'm going to take a look at a few major markets and the uh, the charts today. And let's get cracking and make the uh, first one I want to look at is gold. Um, I looked at gold on the same segment last week and I'd said that because we'd bounced from a low of, um, of 1280 sometime around the um, the the uh, when was it actually it was sort of the start of March yeah we got to 12.80 which was a Fibonacci support level and we bounced and that suggested to me we were going to go back to 13.50 and we started to travel nicely higher um, in a in a channel unfortunately um, all change and we've got to have a rethink here because yesterday we broke lower we broke out of that channel and we saw a quite a significant sell off back down below 1300. In fact, the low is 12.93 for the futures, and then we've printed 12.91 overnight. Um, and so it looks like we're going to have another look at that 12.80 level. Um, so yes, I'm sort of saying whatever I said last week. It, uh, you know, we need to uh, have a rethink because um, we've, you know, 12.80 is is back in play as a support level that we might want to be keeping an eye on. Um, next chart I want to look at is the WTI, the NYMEX Light Sweet Crude, um, and that has been basically going sideways for a few weeks now. Uh, and that was, you know, and prior to that, we'd also had a period where we were going sideways for weeks. 57.80 was resistance um, at the, you know, during that period. Um, where, during that period, um, what was it? Sort of in, around uh, the end of February and the beginning of March, and then on the th in the middle of March, 13th of March, we broke higher. We got above that resistance. It's the orange line on that chart, and what it's been doing now is that re former resistance is turning into support, and we're seeing um, we're, we're seeing buy dip buying coming in, and I fully expect us to then to to you know, the next thing we'll do there break above 60.40. And then trade to 61.70, where we've got the 200-day moving average. And then 63.71 is my next target using Fibonacci. It's a 61.8% retracement on that chart. Um, equity markets, what have they been up to? Well, equity markets, uh, we all know about the big sell-off we saw last October. And that was triggered when we sold through to uh, through 2866. Um, and then we uh, traded all the way down to the, you know, that Christmas low at 23.16 and we've then staged this really nice recovery um, and we got back to 2866, that trigger level. We got back to it last week and we sold off. Um, and that big red candle that you can see on the, um, you know, that that broke the trend support line, that has a uh, what's what we call the Marabuzo resistance at 28.33, and that's been capping ever since. So unless the balls can get us back above 28.33, I think there's some downside risk in this one because the failure was bang on that key resistance level and that trigger level from last October. So that's one interesting one I'm looking to see whether we've got a, um, you know, whether there's a more chance of a retracement uh, in that one, uh, maybe a long overdue re retracement. And the final chart I want to look at today is the weekly chart for Euro US dollar. I spent a good amount of time on this in last week's uh, segment uh, because the um, Fibonacci lines have been working extremely well. Um, and the key, one of the key levels on that chart right now um, is 111.76. Uh, and uh, that 76 to 111.87. Key area bounced off of there a couple of weeks back um, and then saw a bit of a recovery last week up to 114.48, but then we've fallen over again and we're trading with them just in the uh, low 112s uh, today. And so it looks like we're going to give that that support level another another going over, as it were, 111.76 to 111.87, key area of support. If it breaks, then euro, US dollar heads to 108.15, and then maybe all the way back to that 2000 and um, you know, down to the 103.41 low that we posted at, right at the start of 2017. And that's all from me. Thanks very much.